Hey everybody, welcome back to Gardening for Gains. Today uh, we finally got our shipment of seeds in from Gurney's. Um, it smells like we got some garlic in here too, so we're going to do an unboxing and show you what we got. Let's dig in. All right, so it seems like we got some onion in here, uh, and I didn't think those were coming for a little while. So here are our white onion sets. It looks like we got a bag, I think it's like 80 count, yeah, 80 count of those. So that is something we'll wait, you can't have that. That's something we'll wait, to, or we'll plant pretty much right away. Um, and actually, I'll probably look into getting those planted in gutters um, just so we can kind of utilize some space. So we'll probably have like four or five rows of gutters. Got some other onions here. These are the red onion sets uh, and also an 80 count bag. And then here we've got some uh, soft, neck, soft neck garlic uh, and it's called Enchilium Red. Um, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like we already got some sprouts going on that. Um, so we'll add that to our garlic collection that we already got going pretty strong uh, in our garden outside right now. We've got about 55 to 60 uh, heads of garlic coming up. And then here's another one. This is a, another soft neck variety called Walla Walla Early. Um, and this one looks like it's got like almost 20 cloves, um, you know, in that one one giant head so um, that should add a nice little, be a nice little addition for us um, so we'll just keep going down the stinky list here the next one we got is also some enchilium red garlic let's see and then here's another walla walla that one's a little bit smaller but got some sprouts going so that is good Actually, that's pretty dense. I mean, it's not as big as the other one, but still pretty, pretty dense. Should have a good amount of cloves, and looks like we even got one that snapped off of there. So, um, another garlic, soft neck, California white. Um, so we're gonna have plenty of garlic and onions. And of course, I keep speaking too soon. And here is the last one, another California. Uh, California white soft neck variety. So um, soft neck varieties, you're gonna want to plant those out in the spring versus hard neck, you can plant in the fall and let them grow over the winter. And that, um, you know, it's just a little bit hardier variety. Uh, so we got soft neck to plant in spring and we'll be harvesting that later this, uh, this summer. Uh, moving on to our bigger items here, we've got some red Pontiac potatoes. And those will be going at in at the uh, Gardening for Gains North location, which is just uh, my parents' house. And we'll be putting these out there too, Purple Majesty Potato. And then of course, one of my favorites, the Yukon Gold Potato. And that was one that I had a lot of good success with in the past, uh, not last year, but the year before. Grew some in uh, root pouches and they did pretty awesome. So this year I think I know a little bit more about how to best grow them. Um, so we should get a huge, huge return on that. Um, so moving on to some of the other seeds. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. The dogs were starting to attack each other. Um, but moving on to, uh, to our seed packets. Start with the bigger packets here first. We've got four big ones. Um, I can't remember what all we got here. So these are skyscraper sunflowers. Um, I think these grow to be about uh, 12 feet tall, if I remember right. It doesn't say right off hand here. Um, but we've got two of those. Um, so what I like to do with the sunflowers is I like to plant them um, like at the north side of the garden so that way they're not not shading anything else uh, because typically like as the season goes on um, you want to put your tallest crops at, at the north end and then your shortest crops at the south end because the sun typically is going to pass like toward 
kind of towards the south side of it. Um, so that will just prevent any shading. But I like to plant uh, cucumbers next to that and they'll use actually use the sunflowers as a trellis. Um, so kind of a you know win-win uh, in planting. Uh, moving on to the other big ones, we've got some uh, bush, bush beans, and this variety is called the Hulk. Um, so those are huge. Uh, they have like really long strands of beans on them. Um, I think they get about seven to nine inch uh, pods. So um, that should, you know, basically we'll just take those, snap them in half. Uh, I think that's typically what people do with be bush beans. Um, so got a lot of people that requested green beans, so that would be a great addition as well. And then moving on to the seeds, um, what we've got here are just some herbs. Um, so we've got three, uh, three packs of cilantro, and that's going to be probably our most in-demand herb other than maybe basil or dill, um, which we had some already left over or that I had gotten for Christmas. Um, but that is all that we've got for our gurneys seeds. Um, so I would highly recommend these uh, gurney to use for your, you know, your seeds and plants. And you know, everything looks extremely healthy. There's no rot, no funky like black fungus. Like a lot of times, um, if you leave like garlic or onions sitting around in, you know, in the pantry or in the in the uh, fridge, you know, you're gonna kind of see something like some black stuff coming up or like soft spots or whatever. Um, but everything looks really healthy. Even a lot of these onion sets have uh, started to sprout a little bit, which isn't a problem at all. Actually, you know, that to me, that just shows that it's really healthy. It's kind of hard to see in that one, but you can definitely see it in this one where it's blue and you can see that contrast there. Um, so basically our next steps is we're just gonna get the garlic, the onions, and the potatoes planted out pretty much as soon as possible. We've had a ton of rain here, uh, here in Ohio, but uh, we'll just have to adjust, you know, once we can get out there, work the soil a little bit, especially for the potatoes. Um, well, I guess for everything, you really don't want it to sit in that water, you know, and be waterlogged, and, you know, that will really increase your chances for disease or fungus or things like that. So. Um, we're going to be mindful of that, make sure that we get everything in the ground um, here soon, and then that will ensure that we have a good harvest coming up later this spring. Um, so thanks for tuning in to our unboxing, and stay tuned for the planting, and we're going to take you everywhere from seed to salad, or I guess in this case from seed to CSA, um, as we're running our first small operation this year. So far I've got about five people that are definitely interested, and probably about five to ten more um, so now we just got to execute and uh, make sure that we can grow everything that we need to grow um, for, you know, whatever pe people have requested from our availability list. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions or you'd like to join our CSA, um, you got to be in like the Dayton, Ohio area. But just drop me a line, comment, um, or hit me up on any social channel and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, thanks for tuning in. And as always, I appreciate it.